dear students in today's presentation let's understand how to apply first law of thermodynamics for open system let me take the second component for analysis that is throttle so let's understand the throttling process first as i have mentioned here a throttling process occurs when a fluid flowing in a line suddenly encounters a restriction in the flow passage here i have given some example so that you can understand the throttling process it may be a plate with a small hole in it as you can see here or it may be a partially closed valve protruding into the flow passage or it may be a change of tube of much smaller dia called a capillary tube which is normally found on a refrigerator so these are a few of the examples where we can find the throttling process now here are the characteristics of the throttling process the result of this restriction is an abrupt pressure drop in the fluid as it is forced to find its way through the suddenly smaller passages as you can see here as the fluid enters over here suddenly the passage is reduced and it is forced to find its way through a smaller passage way so this process is drastically different from the smoothly countered nozzle which you already seen in the previous video so there is a typically some increase in velocity in throttle but both inlet and exit kinetic energy are usually small enough to be neglected this is very very important there is no means for doing work and little or no change in potential energy so usually there is neither time nor opportunity for appreciable heat transfer such that the only terms left in the first law equation are inlet and exit enthalpies so some equations i have written here to the mass parents you already know that mass flow rate at the inlet is equal to mass flow rate at the exit so when we substitute all that in the first law for open system we are left with only hi and he rest all terms they cancel out considering that let me take you to an example i just read the statement consider the throttling process in which ammonia is the refrigerant which enters the expansion valve at a pressure of 1.5 megapascal and a temperature of 35 degree celsius its pressure on leaving the expansion valve is 291 kilopascal calculate the quality of ammonia leaving the expansion valve so just for understanding i have taken the sketch in a most simple way so given data i have written here that at the inlet i have 1.5 megapascal and 35 degree celsius that is entering here ammonia is entering here at the exit the pressure of ammonia is 291 kilopascal so this is the exit so this is called the throttling device or the throttling effect now the analysis is that the first law reduces to as already explained enthalpy at the inlet is equal to enthalpy at the exit simple so the solution is from ammonia tables so we have to get hi from these two conditions 1.5 megapascal and 35 degree celsius again we need to check the phase if it is superheated then we need to go to superheated table and then find its hi otherwise from the saturated tables as usual after that the quality as he has asked to find out can be calculated as equating that exit enthalpy is equal to inlet enthalpy by finding this particular equation so both hf and hfg here are to be calculated from this particular pressure from ammonia tables we already know hi which is equal to he that is 346 now hf 134.4 is the enthalpy at 291 kilopascal hfg is 1296.4 at 291 megapascal sorry kilopascal after substituting we can get the value of 
क्वालिटी और ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन आज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट थ्री एट